principle called the restless man was my moment of, when I came up with it, was my moment of realizing that there's something that drives us from life to life, not reincarnation, but whatever circum circumstance we're in, one to another. Not all people are driven so in such a way, but a lot of us are. Um, and I believe it's the thing that causes us, for example, to say, well, I've had enough of this city, I'll move on to somewhere else, or I'm done with college, as my daughter is right now, she's done, she's ready to move on to her new life in Japan. Uh, and it propels us from circumstance to one to another, people even one to another, new, circum new communities of friends. Like I said, not all people are like that. Some people settle down once in their life and then they're, they're there for the duration. Others, like my wife and I, are compelled to keep moving. <clears throat> my daughter may now be among that tribe. I've known many of us. Now, I have a feeling that there's a biological imperative. There's a reason for this. And it's, it boils down to our biology. I like to picture the way that humanity has mostly been, which is the tribal hunter-gatherers, you know, a small group of 25, 30 individuals making up a, a family unit, a loose collection of families brought together to help one another to create a formal little community. And I picture them in living in a little valley somewhere, maybe uh, in, in Ethiopia or something like that. I don't know, I'm just picking some place, you know, the cradle of humanity, somewhere in Africa perhaps, a small group of hunter-gatherers. And there's one of them, a young man perhaps, gets an uh, inkling to go over the mountain where they, beyond where they hunt to see what's on the other side and comes back speaking of fresh clean rivers or streams and uh, ample game and uh, good foraging and no competition from many other people and maybe he collects together you know a woman and maybe a few friends and couples and they head off and start a, a new branch community of humans in this new valley on the other side with all the ample resources there. And then they flourish. And then later, their children, one of them, decides to go still further to beyond the next ridge to do the same thing. This, in a way, would be a, a, a biologically efficient way to allow the species to thrive uh, without competition, making use of the resources in the surrounding uh, community and uh, surrounding environments to create communities, um, making use, leveraging the avail what is available in, in nature. That would be a success successful way of doing things. It's how humanity spread around. I, I imagine, I'm no scientist or archaeologist or anthropologist, but I imagine that was one of the mechanisms by which humans spread. It's probably the way we came across the uh, Bering Land Bridge, right? When just seeking after, following the game seeking after new resources, expanding family after family into new horizons beyond. This is the origin, I believe, of the restless man, the current feeling that we have inside some of us to go somewhere else and do something else and live another life again, all over again from the life, one life that we do get to live in this thing that we are now. The restless man, the imperative that we feel to push forward. And then that leads to the next principle, which is called the Great Life Adventure, which I'll talk about the next time. So don't be surprised if you're one of us, one of the restless men or women, and you feel so driven to go off to uh, new lands and new lives and meet new faces. <laughs>